So I'm just going to quickly go through different forces. And I'm just going to talk about compression, tension, and shear, because those are the ones I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, okay. But I'll quickly tell you about them. So compression, it's not very hard. Compression is like you pushing on both ends of something. Okay? So that's when it says, under compression, this is what they mean. Okay, and tension is when you're pulling on both ends. Okay? And then you're like stretching it. And shear is when you're like pushing one side down and pushing one side up. Okay, so it's not really compression or tension, but it's like the layers are sliding over each other. Now, uh, maybe if I show you with a piece of paper, that could work. So compression would be pushing them into each other. Tension would be pulling them away from each other, or like pulling, pulling this piece of paper apart. And shear would be like one piece of paper being rubbed like that. Okay, so that's what each of them are. And now I'm just going to show you quickly what the atomic structure would look like. So that may sound scary, but it kind of makes sense. Okay, say I'm compressing them. If it's under compression, what do you think happens to the atoms? Or whatever, the molecules? They get closer together. That's what it looks like. If they're under tension, say I'm pulling them apart. Okay, what will happen to them? They get stretched. Genius. And for shear, what's happening is I'm keeping one side like this and one side like that. So what happens is they slide over each other. The layers slide over each other. Anyway, it's not very hard. So let's do some questions. It's kind of intuitive. So here's the structure. Which of the following best describes the stress in beam XY? XY. Is it tension, compression, neutral, or depending if there's a load on the bridge? Well, the way I like to think of it is I kind of visualize just two of them in my head. And what's going to happen? There's going to be weight pulling them down. Okay? It's going to be weight pulling them down here. And these are supporting it up. So these things are holding up something so they're under compression. Does that make sense? Like something's pushing down on here. This weight is pushing down on them. So they're both under compression. Okay. Compression. Okay, next one. Which of the following best describes the stress in beam XY? And YZ? YZ. Okay, so for this, there's a load down here. Okay, that's that's the load of the bridge, and that's pulling it down. So if if the load, if if YZ were to be like stretched, if somehow it start to break, how would it break? It break like this. It would be stretched going down. So that's under tension. Um, I guess it's a little bit intuitive now, but I'll try and give you a more concrete example on how to do this. Okay, so here's another one. So they're asking us for the placement of steel rods. Okay, so I'm going to tell you concrete are good under compression, steel rods are good under tension. So they're trying to ask us where to put these um, rods, where the parts that are under tension. So here's our diagram. We want to figure out where to put steel rods. So how do we figure out where is the best place? Easy, we just figure out where it breaks if we consider the forces. Okay. So there's a force of the um, beam here. It's likely going to pull it down in here. So if this part was to break, it would look like this. All right? Easy. And now this thing's kind of pulling it down here. So if this was to break, it would look like this. And essentially, the side that gets stretched is the side that is under tension. So this would be under tension. And over here, this would be under tension. This would be under compression. That would be under compression, the inside one. So a way I was thinking about how to make this easy for you to remember. And I was thinking big spoon, little spoon. Big spoon is under tension. Little spoon is under compression. So all you need to do is just draw which way it's going to collapse and then write the big spoon, little spoon. It's under compression, compression, tension. So what we want is to put steel rods where it's under tension, and that's on the bottom here and on the top here. So the answer is D, on the bottom and on the top. Um, let me see if I have any other examples for you, because I have 30 seconds left. I have a 50, no, a five-minute time limit. Okay, let's try this one quickly. Okay, engineers are developing a simple foot bridge using a concrete slab. Concrete slab is reinforced with stretched steel wires. Okay, which gives the best position of the steel wires? It's a foot bridge, okay? So that means it's being held like this. If it was going to break, it would break like that, okay? Where do we want, so that means this side is under tension, that's under compression. 
So now what's our question? Which one is the best positioning of the steel wires? So we want to put that where it's under tension. So really, we just want to put it at the bottom. We want to put it at the bottom here. So we just need to look for that. Near the top? No. Nah. Near the top? No. Nah. Near the bottom. Because steel wires are strong in compression. No, because they're strong in tension. Near the bottom because steel wires are strong in tension compared to concrete. D. And that's roughly how you do forces. Shear, all these different things. Um, have a good one, I think.